good day, this 283rd day, Meaningful Moments, 365 days. Want to make some changes? Many of us are in places of transition, whether we realize it or not, because life is continually evolving and there's changes that are always coming our way, even when it appears that there isn't because the biggest changes are the ones going on inside of us. So I woke up early this morning and I had one of those nights where I slept but then woke up a few hours before I normally would get up and was kind of in a lucid dream in and out. You know, it's those moments, and I've wrote on it before, uh, written different essays about that twilight time and just how it is that we begin to experience the messages that are coming to us. Often, you know, we have these connections with our guides that are of the spiritual realm, or perhaps they're of, you know, psyches in ourself or other parts of our psyche. <clears throat> so often they accompany us and are there to support and lend us assistance when we're making changes. And one of the things that came to me this morning was along the lines that so many of us are wanting to make changes. So many of us have burning dreams and desires of things we want to do. And it's beautiful to imagine that and to embody what that looks like as we go out into that vision and into the future. Then there's the pieces of what we tend to daily and what we you know, wake up with every day, like you know, waking up to the sunrise and how we bring ourselves to that present moment. And it requires us to have to take good looks at ourself. And perhaps it's about those deeper looks at ourselves, not in a serious undertone or a critical undertone, but in a look at just being able to observe and detach from the way we conduct our lives to actually view it in a way and go, ah, I see. There was this happening here and this is how my response was here and this is the usual way that I do things and this is my go-to for when I feel like this or when I think like this or when this happens. And until we can like rewrite the scripts and I would even be one to say after you've taken that script and you've identified it and you've decided to rewrite it you know do a new one tear that one old one up toss it into the fire let it be consumed and let something new and innovative come out of you something that's bold and willing willing to change the trajectory, change the momentum by changing what it is that you're doing. Look at your habits. Look at um, all the different little pieces of the way we repetitively behave, speak, do. All those things are just those little tiny increments that begin to shift the momentum and the energy towards what we want to do. And I think that for me, the meaningful moment came when I was thinking about a few different things that happened yesterday. I had mentioned about meaningful moments and when things go wonky is how I described it. And we have these occurrences that are coming our way and how we step up to meet them. And when we've really been able to understand a lesson from whatever it is coming our way, a relationship, situations in our family, with our loved ones, with work, whatever that might be. And we begin to understand the lesson. It makes it so much easier to, it is the key to being able to let go of those old scripts. 
filled this morning with that deeper sense of not just introspection, but communication with those parts of my own self, of my own soul. And then, like I had mentioned, with all those messengers that we receive, hearing the crows this morning, my kitty cat coming around, and sharing those moments in that stillness to really get clear. And once you find that clarity, that's one that you want to keep. With that, dear friends, I hope.